today I'm going to talk about decanting a bottle of red wine. As you can see, I took it from the cellar and I've tried to keep it as horizontal as possible as it was in the cellar. Obviously, if it had been uh, vertical, I would have taken vertical, but here it's horizontal, so I'm going to put it in the basket. And as you can see, I move the basket and not the bottle, more or less. Voilà. So before I explain about decanting, just let me tell you why decanting a red wine. There are really two reasons. First of all, you can aerate the wine by decanting it, and especially for a young red wine, that can be beneficial. Uh, now there is no rule. Some people like it, some people don't like it that way. But one very important aspect, also the second important, is uh, a red wine, when it starts to mature, often will throw a sediment in the bottle. The sediment is made of different elements, principally tannin, uh, coloring pigment, and so on. It's perfectly natural. So over the month, the year, you will get some red wine, you will have uh, quite a lot of sediment. So by decanting, I'm going to leave the sediment in the bottle and get a clear wine into the decanter. So now I've got my um, bottle into the wine basket. As you can see, slightly elevated thanks to the little plate. And the idea is like that, when I'm going to open the bottle, uh, take the cork out. My, if, you, if it was too uh, low, I could get maybe some wine coming out of the bottle. But here, just uh, elevated, so I'm going to open the bottle. So make sure you grip the bottle firmly, because the last thing you want is your bottle turning into the basket. So now all my uh, bottle very firmly. I'm going to cut the capsule properly. Voilà. And I'm going to clean the top here because sometimes you get a little bit of mold between the capsule and the, the bottle, the cork on the top of the cork. So I make sure it's very uh, clean. I'm going to take the cork out, so as normal, eh? nothing special about that. Just to make sure that again you keep the bottle very uh, well into the, the voilà, in the basket, and then slowly I'm going to. When I feel uh, I can finish with the hand, voila. Hey, did you hear the wine there? It was coming almost, but I'm going to smell the cork. That doesn't tell you a lot, but just in case, it would be the first sign if the wine was corked. Voila. Clean again. And now I'm just going to quickly sample the wine. Just to make sure, alors, I try to not to move too much the bottle, simply because I don't want to decant the bottle if the wine is in poor condition, it was cork. Excellent. So I'm going to be very careful to keep the bottle as horizontal as possible. And I'm going to bring this part, the shoulder, on top of the light. It could be an electric light, and we use a candle because it's a bit more romantic, a bit more traditional. And now I'm going to decant very slowly. And when I will see the toward the end, eh, if I haven't, normally it should be only toward the end because I haven't moved the bottle too much. And then when I'll see the deposit coming, so the uh, American have a, they've got a way, they say pass the smoke. Really, you don't want to stop when you see the little uh, smoke of sediment coming. It's really the heavy sediment you want to keep in the bottle. So. Here I'm looking, I can carry on, there's no much deposit coming. Voila. Voila. Stop. You can put back. Now your wine has been decanted. The sediment is in the bottle. So I would advise to leave it maybe for 15 minutes to, to rest. If it was a very old vintage, then you might want to drink it straight away because a very old vintage can be very fragile, something like 30 or 40 years old. But if it's a 5, 10, 15 years old, then leave it to rest for a few minutes, 15 minutes or so, and then you'll be ready to enjoy it with your filet of beef, for instance. <laughs>